What's up everybody? Today I wanted to go through a very quick demo of how to create an 11 blog site from scratch. So to do that, we just want to start by creating a home page. We'll call it index.html on our file system. Put some HTML boilerplate inside of it, and inside of the h1 on our page we'll say my blog. And run 11 We'll do that on the command line with the dash dash serve flag, which tells 11 to start up a web server for us. We command click on this URL, it'll bring it up in our web browser. And you can see that it's rendered our HTML. Next thing we want to do is create a folder for posts. You can name this whatever you want, but we're just going to call it posts for now. I'm going to call a content file that we create here, post-1.markdown. We want that markdown extension so that we know inside of our content that 11D wants to render this as markdown. You can put a post title here. You can see on our command line that 11D has rendered our first post from a markdown to HTML. And if we navigate to that file in the URL, you can see that it's rendered HTML as well. Now the problem here is that it's just rendered the markdown content and it doesn't have any HTML boilerplate around it. To solve that, we'll want to create an 11D layout file. And we'll create an underscore includes folder. You can name this whatever you want in your configuration file. The default is underscore includes. And we'll name our layout file layout.html. And what we'll do is go ahead and go back to our home page and copy the HTML bullet right here into our layout file and save it. Now we want to reference this layout inside of our content. To do that, we'll use front matter and we'll just say layout equals layout.html. That will tell 11D to wrap this content page in the 11D layout. Now importantly, in a layout file, you need to tell it where the content will go. So we use the content variable to do that. You might recognize this double curly brace syntax from liquid, nunjux, handlebars. In this case, this is liquid. You can see it on the command line. So if we go back to our home page, you can see that it's rendered the exact same. And if we put additional content in here, it will now render where we told our content layout variable to output. To apply this also to our all of our blog posts at the same time, even though we only have one, we can create a directory data file in the posts folder to tell 11D to apply this layout to all of the files inside of the post folder. So we'll call it posts.json. Inside of it, we'll say layout equals layout.html. And that will apply these data values to all of our content files inside of the post folder because this name matches our folder name. So if we go back to this, we'll see that 11D has wrapped our new markdown file with our layout content. Now we have two H1s here, we probably don't want that, so let's fix it. So you might see a variable called title reference here. We're not actually using title in our content yet, so let's go back and reference that. Interestingly, we can set layout variables inside of our content. So we're using post title here to set the title of the H1 in our content. Okay, that's great. So let's create another post. Okay, now we have two posts listed here. And if we go to the rendered version of the second post, you can see that it's rendered very similarly. And it's overwritten the H1 title content here using our front matter variable set here. So we have our posts, we have our posts content. So the next thing we wanna do is list our posts on the homepage. So we have a full list of the posts that are available. And to do that, we can use something in 11D called collections. And to set a collection in 11 we'll go back to our directory data file and set a tag. We'll call it post. And now 11 has grouped all of the content files in our post directory as a post tag to be referenced in other files. So we can loop over those, collections.post. Now 
All right, so we can iterate over these individual posts in our collection. We can reference the data in those as well. And because these don't actually have any content, let's go back and add some content to them. And then we can reference that. All right, and if we want to link from our blog post index to individual pages for our blog posts, we can do that as well using post.url. You can extend this further by going out to our documentation, scrolling down here to our plugin section and finding our RSS plugin to easily extend an RSS feed to showcase your content. The other place I'd recommend starting next is to go to our tutorials page. We have an 11 base blog project that really takes you through the full range of things that you might want for a blog. So check it out. Let me know if you have any questions and keep building for the web.